Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer. Uh, <clears throat> I'm over here on the south side of the uh, five acre field between my house over there and cousin Scott's house on the other side of this hedgerow. Dan had asked me how tall I thought the beans were in the last video in the comment he left. And I really didn't have a clue, but I do know that the beans on this corner right here are the tallest on the farm right now. So I walked out there to take a look at uh, sickle pod problem. Last year, sickle pod took over this corner, wiped it out. It was so thick in here with sickle pod that it literally wiped the beans out, um, kept them from producing anything to speak of. I walked out there to take a look at that and yeah, I need to walk these rows and spray. The, it's down in there. It's not getting sunlight, but it's there and it's a possibility it might come on out of there. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so uh, uh, first chance I get when I'm off work again, which I think is Tuesday, if it's not raining, I'll get out here and walk these rows with the backpack. And it looks like from <clears throat> about here, go up about 20 yards and on over is what I got to deal with. But uh, this is the uh, Jeff Raymond measuring stick. Yeah, I'm copying you, Jeff. I like what you did. <clears throat> we'll just pick a spot and walk over here. And there you go. Don't fall over. There. Uh, it's a yardstick, 36 inches. And you can see the beans are a little bit taller than 36 inches. And they're flowering over here in this field. And they got a mess of, well shoot, they're past the first flowering stage. I'd say these are up at R2. No, wait a minute, that's leaves, okay. I'd say we're still around R1. But flower pod here, flowers are, yeah, they're developing. They may be R2. R is reproductive stage. That's where you first get into your flowering and then you start making your little pods, little miniature pods. But uh, they're doing well. Yep, there's some more of it right in there. But they're tall and I like them tall because it makes them real easy to get into combine. Now when they die back, all this growth from about right here up and that's about 12 inches there that's just going to literally die and fall off so it looks like we're going to be left with stalks that are somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 inches tall and uh, that makes them real easy to get in the combine little short beans are a royal pain to try to get in your combine but i thought i'd come out here and look and see how tall these are these I know these are the tallest from looking at them as I ride by and Dan you know that gives you an idea of what we got here uh, in my experience the taller that stalk the more beans you got uh, beans from the ground up to the top of that it'd be like on this one that flower right there it's probably the top node and what will fall off is from my thumb up. <clears throat> and when you got beans real low, well, all I've ever run is a fixed rigid head. So I fight that head to keep it as low as possible so I can get all the beans. You got to keep your eyes on it and keep your mind on it. You can't be sitting up there daydreaming and lollygagging and riding along. Flex head, a lot easier, but I don't have one. I am well pleased with this field. I think the new sprayer with the much larger pump allowing me to get more volume out did the trick on knocking these weeds down. Did a little fighting the weeds yesterday back over there behind the forest in that uh, six acre field uh, water hemp but I've got it back under control. So I want to fight this little spot and that'll be next. I'll take a minute to welcome all the new subscribers. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for growing my channel. I hope there's, you know, videos coming that will entertain you and keep you around.
God bless each and every one of you. Goodbye, y'all.